Hello, hello, hello. Today is Wednesday, November 5, 2025. Here follow Ulf Heller's solution to problem 242. With a nice introduction by Keith Norman. I did not cover this in my lectures, so I cannot refer to any of that. And here you see what Keith wrote. I could not find a lecture where Walter teaches capillary action, so here is a quick derivation of Jurin's law, which can be used to solve the problem. There really is no need for me to read all the equations by Heller. So I will just give you time to read it as I slowly scroll up. He first calculates his upward forces T. And then he discusses H. And then the weight of the water acting downwards. And then he massages the algebra a little bit <laughs> and then he gets the H, which is the one that we need. He mentions, by the way, that Jurin's law only applies to circular capillary tubes. tubes. And I mentioned that it was a circular tube. And so he substitutes now all these values of D, gamma, rho, G, and H and out pops 37.1 millimeters at 20 degrees centigrade. And if you were to change the temperature, then it's mentioned here that the height would be 34.6 millimeters. Not 37.1. All right, uh, I'm sorry that I cannot add anything to it. I cannot refer to any of my lectures. All I can do is go slowly again once over it. To give you more time. There are about 12 people who have the correct answer. And I'm quite happy with that, because it does mean that many of you made the effort to explore on your own capillary, capillary action, because it's not part of my lectures. So I'm actually pleased with the approximately 12 correct solutions. And thank you, Ulf, for your super solution and thank you Keith for your discussion.